that almost yeah. sounds normal, but just quite not normal. Yeah. Oh, he's he's McKissum's the fourth. I mean, it sounds pretty normal when compared to like Bobka and Clunt. Maximus McKissum's. Can you all yeah. see that uh that uh character handout? Yeah. Franklin McPishams the fourth. The fourth. Total boss. <laughs> He's the bee's knees. So P. DM He was just too he was too strong. Good <laughs> hand of his power. And forget you're seeing these characters that you haven't met yet. Except for Orly. I can make that seeable. Who's this guy? Oh, the owl. Yeah. Owl like God. Actually, hit a random name generator to come up with the temple y'all are going to be in for the first session, and that came up, and then I'm like, that sounds like oh really, <laughs> so I came up with Owl. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. I completely forgot about that name. Don't blame me. So old. Yep. Like the Great War of China. Yes. Okay, I didn't let y'all use the second wind. I should have. I could have been a lot harder on you. <laughs> but anyway, um. Second wind, it's a standard action, except Bubka, you can use a minor action to use it once Ooh. an encounter. Your dwarven resilience. Second wind, you get healed for uh, healed for your healing surge value, nothing more than that. But you also get uh, plus two to all defenses for the until the end of your next round. Okay. <laughs> How is this possible? How does me, a poison, you know, my saliva is toxic, so I must be basically, you know, immune to poisons. I have a plus two saving throw to poison. How does a dwarf have plus five above a creature that is actually toxic? It doesn't make any sense. Because I'm the best. Because he's, he's used to um, cast iron stomach, is what it's called, so he's probably used to eating poison food or something. Finish it. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Only when times are really rough, okay? Don't judge me. You also have a cat as an animal minion. Yeah. Does he? Did the cat die that. against playing? No, the cat can come to play later or something. I, don't know. I totally I forgot you had a cat. Do you, <laughs> do you still want the cat, or do you want something else? Yeah, I still want the cat. Just I'll pick it up before we leave or something. Um, in the assumption You can just find it later. Yeah. I'm just saying, in the assumption that um, the cat was around, failing to kiss it, would it have died? Yes. Probably. If it took 10 damage, would it explode? Yes. Like, your cat exploded. No, I haven't found it yet. I prefer the timeline where your cat exploded. Good luck with that. Yeah. Let's just say your cat exploded. Oh, come on, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Once you get to the island, you can find another one. Um, unlike th the bear, the bear, it's the same uh, soul every time because it's a magical druidic bear. Um, Animal Master, though, that is, you actually. If something dies, you have to go out and find another thing and like tame it and shit. What? I said druidish. So wouldn't it be druidish, or is that just too offensive? Something. I don't know what that would be offensive towards. Jewish. No. You don't offend any Jewish people. Okay, just so we are clear on this, this is the cat that you had.
Thanks, why you? <laughs> it's a very cute one. <laughs> Just its head, nothing else. <laughs> when its head exploded, the eyes like projectiled out in front. There you go. That's what happened. Cannon. There you go. I just made Max very upset. <laughs> you can get another one. Since you'll be starting near a jungle, you can just find one. Yeah. Actually, no. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. That was actually the last can distance. <laughs> I just forgot. Y'all aren't going to be near the jungle. Uh, it'll be kind of close to one. I've got a quick question about one of my uh, fi um, racial features. Yes, one second. Yeah, let me bring it up. Um, where is it? It's in my feet, my uh, draconic wings. It says it ignores speed um, penalty for heavy armor. Does that mean just when flying, or do I in general just ignore speed penalties for heavy armor because of my wings? It probably means flying, but. I probably won't remember that you have negative one to speed anyways, so who cares? Yay! <laughs> you move for six. I can fly for six anyway. Was it twelve I can fly for? Because of the wings. Oh no, that just increases the energy, doesn't it? Yeah. Or I could make it so... Yeah, it'll just be flying. <laughs> that way the five of you, when you're just walking places, or not the five of you, but the four of you when you're just walking places. It's like the four of, or the three of you and or the two of you and Zenkabu moving for like five. <laughs> and there's the seven movement speed elf just having to slow down really slow. I'll just be like leaping through the air constantly. <laughs> You'd have to roll an endurance check minus shit tons. Awesome. I just like turn up like knackered every time. And also, um, you'd probably take damage that way too, because if your wings gave out mid-flight, you'd fall and take like 1d6 damage or something. If you fall from uh, one square up, I don't think you take damage, but since you're flying at two squares, you do. I will land on the bear, and the bear will carry me to safety. It's only if you get an acrobatics check, <laughs> and it won't be if you're outspeeding it, so... I will at some point ride this bear into battle. Even though I can, I'm fully capable of flying, I will ride the bear into battle. You might be able to find a bigger bear. Awesome. That's all that is. I will be a dragon riding a bear. Yeah, but you won't get to smoke your bear when it dies. I don't want to smoke my bear. I will, eat. I will eat it, and I will turn its coat into a coat, <laughs> and then I will have like I will have fur. I'd like have one of those like fashion model things where they've got like this that um, fur around their neck, uh, strut around like that, and then a PM member will throw stuff at me. Yeah, I'll spit on them. Poisoned them. So I've got a long term plan here. I'm thinking ahead. Yes, kill PETA members. Yeah. <laughs> I still need a token for Lanky. If I'm Dragonborn, would I be uh, exclusively a carnival? Um, no. You sure? He'd be an omnivore. I want to be exclusively a carnival because nothing makes meat taste sweet in the taste of meat and tears. I mean, 
your species is an omnivore, you can be on a meat diet if you want. I'm on a meat diet. That might make things hard later on, but we have a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I can grow my own food. <laughs> it's made out of plants, though. Ugh. It only looks uh, furry on the outside. Underneath, it's all bark and uh, I'll find this planty out stuff. I'll do, it, I'll, do it I'll do it once. I'll do it once and then realize it's no good. That'll just be the door. Just say, it's so much easier. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd say him before the gnome. Um, also... Make sure I, I don't do any Dragonborn jokes, like, if I get an arrow shot in the knee or something like that, will, will I, the question is, will I ever stoop that low to make a joke? You would. I would, probably. I, since I'm I the one saying... Business joke, so. <laughs> since I'm the one who gets to say where things hit, I'd probably end up making it before you, though. Yeah, like the arrow hits you in the knee, and you have to now take off guard duty because you are no longer fit for adventuring. And like every now and it's just like you know, like occasionally flash like do, uh, do a cut away to Gregor just standing there. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, so you're just you grabbing people by collar and shouting, "I used to be an adventurer." <laughs> no, 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 what it would be? Yeah, it would be like that. But it'd also have you three going back on your adventures and as a guard. Like you'd eventually walk into town. Like every now and then, I'd just turn to you. But I used to be an adventurer with you. And then I took an arrow and moved. Maybe a dick and you're going some door for good reasons. Let me guess. Someone stole a sweet one. <laughs> <laughs>